the first thing I'm going to do is grab the shower curtain ring. I got them from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and spray paint it in gold. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my glass and I'm going to use the ring after I spray paint it and put hot glue on each side of the ring. And I'm also going to put it in the middle and then I'm going to put it at the bottom part just like that. Make sure to put it all the way at the end so they can all fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue putting all the ring all around it and make sure to leave a little bit space like you see that little space so they can all fit um fine then continue just um placing your ring all the way around then i went ahead and got this little rhinestone and i'm just going to place it in the middle of each ring like that then go ahead and grab this candle holder and place it on top to attach it and this is how beautiful it turns out you guys it came out so beautiful it looks super cute and the good thing with this diy that you could decide however you want it to look you could decide it to look like thick standing up with the candle holder and you can also do it without the candle holder and this is how beautiful it turns out without it so you could decide on which one you would like to use better and then for the next DIY, I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of these back massagers and I'm going to um, spray paint them. I'm going to need three of them. Um, so then after I spray paint them, I'm going to take my charter plate and I'm going to take some floral foam and I'm going to put some hot glue on the floor on the phone just like that around it and place it in the middle of the plate hold it in place so it can attach then grab your flower and put some hot glue on it and attach it to your um, floral and then you're going to go ahead and continue attaching your flower you're going to put one in the back and then you're going to put another one in the front and you're going to continue doing that until you are filling up the whole plate all around it just like that then i took the three back massages and i'm going to line them up together like that um to um, all around it and i'm going to place them together um, i'm going to put some hot glue on top of each uh, massages and i'm also going to go ahead and put some hot glue in the middle as well to hold it in place then i went and put the plate on top and i'm going to attach it to the massages holder just like that then i'm going to go ahead and grab this rhinestone i'm going to cut down a long strip um just like that and then i'm going to put some hot glue around it and then i'm going to attach it to the plate and i'm going to go ahead and attach it um all the way around in the whole plate and this is how beautiful you guys it turns out in here after i did that i'm just going to place my glass in the middle and i put some um rocks and then i put my candle and this is how beautiful you guys it looked during the day um it could i didn't record um how it looks just without uh, during the night with the light but it came out so beautiful you guys and for the next diy that i'm going to do i just went ahead and grabbed one of these um bath mats uh for the bath and i'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it in gold but before that i'm gonna take uh, a long glass from dollar tree and i'm gonna also use a small one and here i'm gonna go ahead and grab my hot glue and i'm gonna go ahead and attach it but make sure you use e6000 for better attachment I'm using the hot glue just for the purpose of the video. So then after I went ahead and attached it, I'm going to take my mat and I'm going to place it at the bottom. And then I'm going to place the glass on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold it like that. And I'm going to attach it. But before I attach it, as you can see in the video, I'm going to go ahead and put it all the way. I tried to do it like that, but it doesn't work like that. You're going to go ahead and put it all the way to the top. So you got to overlap the glass like that so you're just going to go ahead and continue attaching it until you attach um that size all the way to the bottom so just attach the side and then once you attach the side just go ahead and grab the other side and you're going to attach it as well and here i'm going to show you at the end you're going to have to end up cutting it then i went ahead and grabbed my scissor and i'm going to cut all the extra that i had on the top so just go around it and cut and cut all the extra one and also at the bottom part just go around it and also cut it and then you see in here you will have to cut one strip before you attach it do that cut one long strip because you don't want it to overlap on top of each other and make sure to attach first the piece that you cut so you can put the other one on top and it will look nice and not the one that you cut don't put it on top like i did make sure um to put the one that you cut at the bottom and then you put the other one on top and this is how beautiful you guys it turns out it came out so cute i love the how it turns out i will be also be making another diy with this um mat 
um, for home decor. So please stay tuned and subscribe so if you want to see that as well. Thanks again for watching Special Creations by Nelly. And let's not forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell if you're gonna get if you want to get notified every time I post a video. Thanks again for watching Special Creations by Nelly.